Some leftists in Finland here, just getting settled into the temporary digs before the permanent digs are ready. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the confidence vote that was held not too long ago here in Finland regarding one of the members of parliament, Wilhelm Junila, also known as Wilhelm Juntila. Um, Junti is the Finnish word for redneck, which is how this guy acts and how most people in the Finns party act where their intelligence level is. Um, and I know right off the bat, people will say, oh, you're going after the intelligence. You're trying to make yourself appear smarter. No wonder people don't like leftists. There is absolutely an intellectual divide between the right and the left. There absolutely is. And you cannot convince me otherwise. It's not just about higher education. It's not just about who went to college and who didn't go to college. It's about who is foolish enough to allow themselves to be sucked into this racist, xenophobic rhetoric. Who is foolish enough to allow themselves to take the fear overlapping all of Europe and turn that fear into racism? That's what I mean by that. Um, so this guy, they found, it, it, it didn't take long. I, I knew that eventually at least at least one Finns party member would be caught, um, caught up in some sort of um, neo-Nazi scandal. But this guy, he is just, you know... It's about as obvious as they can make it because people on the far right, these these white nationalists, they don't always make it obvious that they are anti-Semitic, that they are racist. They don't always make it obvious because they can't make it obvious. They have to veil it in things like, you know, 88. They have to veil it in things like, you know, like hand gestures and symbols. They 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 Well, I mean, they're cowards for one thing. But if you want to have a political career, especially when your country's number one trading partner is Germany, you know, you've got to be a little bit, uh, you, you've got to be a little clever, as clever as a far right person can be when it comes to your ultra, ultra white right nationalism. But this guy, he had some things that were made public. For example, his election number was 88. We all know 88 and the, the you know, <laughs> the, the connection of, of that with, with um, white nationalism. And he made some posts on uh, social media, making light of that, making humor of it, like, oh, 88, then somebody else got that number. And what, what was it that he said exactly? Congratulations on an excellent election number. I know it is a winning card. This 88 refers, of course, to the two H's, but let's not dwell on that. Um, and then in 2015, he used a slogan referencing gassing, gas chambers. Uh, and he saved a picture of um, a vehicle bearing that slogan under his we under his website under the title Gasutus or gassing. Um, and he's been he he has spoken at rallies um, with re like like I'm talking people who are even further right than the Finns party. People who make the Finns party look like uh, you know the, the social democrats, like really 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 far right. Um, he's spoken at these rallies, and, and he, th th this whole time, Jungtila's, or I'm sorry, Jungtila, is, is saying, oh, no, I, I, I condemn anti-Semitism, I condemn all that stuff. Yeah, when you get caught, you condemn it. So, they had a vote, and wouldn't you know it, they let him stay in, 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 in Parliament. They let him stay in Parliament. The easiest thing in the world to do is to condemn neo-Nazis, to condemn this kind of behavior, and these cowards... An NCP, the only party in this entire thing, by the way, the only party in this entire thing that has any sort of respect, any sort of backbone, any sort of balls is the Swedish People's Party. They voted unanimously across the board. We do not want this motherfucker in parliament because he is a cancer. We do business with Germany. What is that going to look like? Even if Germany is going a little bit further to the right, they were the only party of this coalition, Christian Democrats, them, NCP, Finns Party, who said no. Get this guy out. It's the easiest thing to do. But Petri Orpo is a coward. He is a weak leader. He is just totally spineless. Just like anybody else who decided to vote, mm -hmm. we'll, 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 we'll give him another chance. We'll give him another chance to show that he's not a neo-Nazi. Yeah, like overnight, his ideas about, you know, Jewish people, overnight, his ideas about um, uh, immigrants and um, any sort of migrants just changed, right? Is that what we're supposed to believe? Is that what the rest of us who actually have brains, who actually think critically, are supposed to believe that overnight 
with an with 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 some half-assed apology and a, uh, a little tiny mea culpa that he's changed and he doesn't have these 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 leanings. Unbelievable! This just makes Finland look so much worse, so much worse on the world stage. Maybe not on the European stage because the European stage right now is pretty fucking grim, pretty grim. Not only economically but socially when it comes to all these far right parties gaining a foothold, which. With any, with any luck and with any hope, they won't have a foothold for much longer because I like to think that people will eventually start to see through this shit. They'll start to, 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 to gather that our economy still sucks. We voted for these people. My job still sucks. My benefits still suck. Things are still wildly expensive. It's almost like we only voted for these people because they preyed upon our base instincts. They preyed upon our fear. They preyed upon every fear that we have about everything and then just snuck immigrants in there and, and not only as a scapegoat but as a thing to fear and i don't know when it's going to happen but i hope it happens soon because right-wing economics i've said it a billion times they don't work they don't work and that's what you get when you elect a bunch of xenophobes you get their far-right social policies and you get their far-right economic policies but finland that this parliament the easiest thing to do, condemn white nationalism, condemn neo-Nazis, which means getting them out of your parliament, and they didn't, because Petteri Orpo is a fucking coward, NCP are fucking cowards. The only party that comes out of this looking good are the Swedish People's Party, which I guess we, the Christian Democrats don't look good either. Um, it's, it's, it's really quite sad. It's, again, it's the easiest thing for somebody to do is to condemn white nationalism, condemn somebody who has known ties to neo-Nazi groups, who makes fun of things that, in a country that you're doing most of your business with, things that are absolutely verboten, absolutely off the table. We don't joke about this sort of thing, but, you know, this is the new Europe. This is the new, um, yeah, it's the new Europe where, where you can be a member of parliament, even in Finland, who, who is just absolutely morally reprehensible ties to right-wing neo-nazi groups and you can still keep your job it's really fucking pathetic but uh shame on anybody who voted to keep this guy in parliament shame on you i don't know what the fuck you're thinking i really don't if if, if you are what you're basically saying is that you i don't care if you're doing this for the political expediency you are saying that or convenience you are saying with your vote tacitly that you think that this guy actually has reformed because if, if anybody on this planet reforms it's a fucking far-right white nationalist in northern europe yeah okay anyway that sucks and it's just another indication of where finland is going under this new right-wing regime and again can only hope can only hope that they don't have long can only hope that they fold underneath the weight of their own bickering and stupidity and total and complete lack of a plan for this country. Total and complete lack of a plan for this country. Except, of course, to prop up the rich. Have a good day, folks, and fuck you, Wilhelm.